In Romans 8, Paul writes that we are more than conquerors. What's important to notice is that that's verse 37, which comes after verse 35, where he asks, who shall separate us from the love of God? Shall trouble, hardship, persecution, famine, nakedness, danger, or sword? No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loves us, that's to say Jesus. Well, in these short clips, you'll hear of some modern day heroes of the faith who have been through some horrific experiences, but have held on and are indeed more than conquerors. Hi, my name is Grace Nduimana, and um, my mum gave birth to me and abandoned me in a toilet. And the only reason why I didn't drown was because my neck got caught in the U-bend of the toilet. Uh, a local nurse from a hospital nearby found me and she took me into the hospital and cleaned me and disinfected me and um, proceeded to try and find a home for me. And at the time, Chrissy Chapman was the only lady taking in babies and um, she agreed to take me in. So three days later, um, she took me in and I've been living with her ever since. Um, six months down the line, uh, they realized that I, was, I wasn't reacting to sounds like most babies did, um, loud or quiet, I wasn't reacting at all. And so Chrissy took me to a, a Russian specialist who was in town at the time, and um, they examined me and they realized that I was completely deaf in both ears. Um, so Chrissy took me home and she was devastated and she, she, she talked to her friend, um, Pastor Edmund, who came in and anointed both of my ears with oil and for three days straight I just kept on screaming and they just couldn't understand why I was screaming so much and um, my, my adopted brother was, walk, was crawling along the floor and he slammed the door and I, 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 sh I was so surprised that I nearly fell off the bed and they realised that in that moment it was because I'd been screaming for three days straight because I could hear again and just, it was just shocking me. It, I just couldn't understand what all the sounds were. And so this, um, it was just, it's just something that I can't understand now because God's grace has been so, so, so sufficient in my life. It, um, he's, he's taken me from a place where I was a baby who was destined to die, really, and have been given the amazing opportunity of been going to school, of being able to go to school in the, in the United States. And I'm almost finished. I'm in my last year of university, um, about to graduate in the, with a degree in journalism. And God has just been so great to me and there's just nothing that I could ever do or say to be able to communicate my thanks. In 1996, I held this little girl in my arms, a couple of years old, and I was told her story and it absolutely blew me away. And years later, you know, I was single at the time, but years later got married and and I said to my wife, Lizzie, if, if ever the Lord gives us, uh, blesses us with a, a daughter, I want to name her the same name. Because Chrissy gave her the name Grace. It's just the perfect name, isn't it? Because that is my story. That is anyone's story who's come to Jesus, is that God, you know, reaches down to the pit of our lives and picks us up, whether we're melting, merging, rapists, purging idiots in Central Africa or very self-absorbed people, wherever we are, we, we all need God's grace. You can't get out of the pit by yourself. Religion is trying to get out and earn our own righteousness or whatever, and that's impossible. But, you know, Jesus, God with flesh on, comes down, reaches down, picks us up, cleans us off like she was cleaned off. And he says to each one of us, you're beautiful, you're made in my image, I love you, now come on, live for me. And I love it that, you know, she's turned out so well and she's living for Jesus. She's had all these opportunities, she's living her dream. And uh, in God's weaving our lives together, the tapestry of our lives, I loved it that sort of 18 years later, she ended up being our babysitter and one day, I was looking at little Grace and, and I said, do you know that you're actually named after Big Grace? And, uh, you know, I look at my little girl, she's, she's my precious, she's our precious gift and she's beautiful. And, and I wanted to know that she's a gift and that everything in life is a gift. So what a stunning story. 
and uh, she's carrying on living out her dream and uh, we're very excited for her. Thank you.